point, everybody, we're going to talk about how to edit an alignment because we've got an alignment on our screen. There's probably going to need to be some changes made, perhaps uh, some, some edits. So I'm going to show a few different ways on how to edit alignments. The first way and probably the easiest way, if uh, your design so allows, is to just select your alignment and edit some of the grips. So if you notice, you've got some grips at various locations. You've got square grips at the ends of your uh, lines. You've got some square grips in the middle of your lines as well. On your curves, you, depending on how the curves were drawn, you may have a series of circles, triangles, and uh, square grips. Okay, so you can select any of those and move those around and it'll change. So for instance, if I want to pick that uh, grip at the end and move that, that start station, I can go ahead and pick a point there, uh, anywhere along my, my alignment, uh, or I can change that location. And also, on my curve, I can go ahead and pick things like the beginning of that uh, arc, uh, change the, uh, the point of curvature for that arc there. I can change the center circle arc. That'll change where that, that midpoint is, if I like. And lastly, if I want, I can grab that uh, little triangle grip and move that one around. And that triangle represents my PI point. So if you move that depending on if your design allows uh, you can change that uh, PI location there as well. The other way which might be a little bit more accurate is to go into your uh, select your alignment and then right click and go into your edit alignment geometry and that what this will do is it will bring up your alignment layout tools and in here you can do some cool things like for instance you can add in a PI point so if, for instance you forgot to add in a, a point of intersection you can go ahead and select that location you can type in a, a set of coordinates if you want or pick a point somewhere on your alignment and voila it brings up a, a little triangle grip and you can go ahead and move that if you like and uh, create yourself a, a new PI point if you would like and once you've got that you can go ahead and add a, a curve perhaps so in this case I might want to add in a free curve because it's between two existing entities so I'll just uh, go free curve fill it and it'll ask me for an incoming tangent and an outgoing tangent and it asks me for uh, a radius it's going to be less than 180 and I'll say a well, pretty small little radius there and say OK and uh, enter and there you can edit it that way. The last way uh, and also you can do things like uh, delete PIs you can break alignments uh, apart if, if you like um, if you wanted to add in some uh, spirals you've got some spiral tools there and uh, some of these other objects like uh, convert some existing line work to uh, alignment entities or a delete sub entity. So delete sub entity is sometimes handy too because what you can do is you can select that option if you wanted to get rid of the curve in between there you can uh, select that and uh, hit enter and it'll delete that whole entity completely. Okay. Um, uh, another common tool to use and probably one of my favorites is the alignment grid view because it gives you probably the uh, most control over your design so if you select that it brings up your alignment in a uh, tab view right so you can select things like for instance if you wanted to change the uh, the starter endpoints of a line perhaps or maybe the uh, the radius of a curve you can go ahead and change that uh, in there and anything that is in highlighted in black is editable. If it's in gray, that means you can't edit it uh, because it's constrained by some other piece of geometry. So if you absolutely have to uh, change some of those grayed out settings, then you can go ahead and unlock your, your data and uh, then it's just uh, pretty much a free-for-all for whatever you want to change. But you have to be careful because that means it's also going to change some of the objects that it's constrained to. So you may not want that. Okay, uh, particularly if you've got uh, critical survey points uh, somewhere that are defined as uh, perhaps beginning and ending of curves or point of point of intersections and stuff like that. Uh, the other option here is the sub entity editor, which gives you a little bit more detail than the grid view. But uh, by going ahead and picking that you'll notice that the alignment layout properties are empty but what you'll have to do is you'll have to come down here and select this little button pick sub entity so if I wanted to change some stuff on my curve I pick that uh, select sub entity uh, select my sub entity it could be a line arc spiral and you can change some of the same stuff 
in here and it's the same information that's in the grid view it just uh, breaks it down uh, into a sub entity by sub entity so um, that's essentially all your uh, vert alignment layout tools and uh, thanks for watching